Despite the efforts of DTE's local crews and hundreds of them from out of state, sizable portions of the area, including Western Wayne County, are without power tonight. Our Mara McDonald has been on the road through several communities. She joins us live in Westland tonight. Hey, Mara, what's the situation there? Christy, it's not great. Take a look behind me. There are so many intersections throughout Western Wayne that look just like this one. Traffic lights have no power, and this one is actually relatively well marked with stop signs. That's not the case everywhere. It has been some really dangerous driving, and, you know, huge swaths of the area are really in the dark. Can you do me a favor and pull up? We'll get you your ice in a second, sir. All right, thanks. Trying to help save what's in their refrigerators, the city of Dearborn held a drive through with dry ice tonight and will do the same thing tomorrow from 2 to 8 p.m. in the city hall complex. Heading west, sparking wires are still an issue tonight. The fire department keeping a watchful eye on this in Westland in case it sets the house on fire. Oh, that's a second one. Before it was somewhere closer here. It was huge, huge sparks. While the ice has melted in western Wayne, the tree and limb damage is substantial. The cleanup is going to take days, and the storm itself truly frightening. The trees were coming down through the ice. It just, it literally sounded like a waterfall. I mean, and uh, it started hitting my roof, and I, I really thought the roof was caving in. So I just, I grabbed my, you know, my girl, and. I just hovered over and I said, hold on, you know, I thought we, I thought we were a goner. I really did. Back here live, the one good piece of news about this entire area, the ice has melted driveways, sidewalks, roadways, all clear of ice. We can't say the same thing for communities in our north zone. We're live in Westland tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, local four. All right, thanks so much, Mara. And here is some more important advice from DTE that really could be life-saving. Remember, stay 25 feet away from any downed wires and don't touch anything that those wires may be in contact with. Call DTE at 1-800-477-4747 if you do see a downed line. And be aware that wires that are behind yellow tape might still be live wires. And we know a lot of people are making use of generators, which is so smart, but you should never use a portable generator inside your home.